Hello everyone and welcome to the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast. Today I want to address a question that I got asked again on Facebook and that is how to improve your shooting range. Now the first obvious answer to this is to actually go out when you're shooting and challenge the range that you can shoot from. Obviously the only way we actually improve on anything in life is to challenge our comfort zone. So when it comes to shooting range we have to do the same thing but there's some specific key factors that we need to pay attention to if we're going to do this effectively and not hurt our shot, which is the key. So first of all, you got to challenge the range that you can shoot from, meaning that you need to shoot from a range that is forcing you to, and these are three points that you need to pay attention to to make sure you're shooting from a range that's challenging but yet not hurting your shooting form. So you, first, you need to make sure that you're, you're going to be shooting lower. You're going to use more legs in your shot when you're shooting from a range that's challenging your comfort zone. Um, so you're going to use more bend. Normally you use about, I don't know, 45 degrees max. You might need to get around 45 degrees, maybe a little lower when you're shooting from a further range. Number two, you're going to have to jump forward and higher. You're, you're going to jump higher and you're going to jump forward to get more momentum on your shot. So those are the two keys. The third one is you're going to probably use less arc when you're shooting. You're going to use the strength that you would normally use to get the ball a little bit higher and you're going to have to use it to get the ball a little bit further. Obviously if you can shoot with higher arc that's or the same arc that you normally shoot with that's ideal but the, the point is when we're shooting from a further distance we're going to probably use less arc to compensate for the fact that we're shooting to further distance to get more distance on the shot. But those are the three ways that our shot would change when we're shooting from a further distance. So if your shot is changing in any other way than these three that I just gave to you, again, those three being you're shooting lower, you're jumping higher and further, and you're using less arc. If you're shooting in a different way, like your hand's placement's different, your offhand is forward, then you're shooting from a distance that's a little bit too far from you, for you at the moment. So again, pay attention to those three things. If you're, obviously, when you're challenging your shooting range, those three things will be a little bit different but other than that our shot should be the same no matter where we're shooting from so those the three things to pay attention to other than that obviously getting stronger like physically stronger and being in the weight room specifically working on your legs improving your vertical jump those things will help your shooting range and obviously a key point to pay attention to as well is that it takes time you're not going to go from shooting threes to shooting NBA threes to shooting from half court in a week or a month. You know, it takes time just like anything else in life in basketball. It takes time. It takes consistent training to actually see those improvements. So be patient with yourself. Don't get down on yourself. Again, stay in the gym. Keep shooting. Stay in the weight room. And then when you're in your shooting workout, spend some time actually challenging your shooting range. Every time you're in the gym, or definitely a few times a week, be challenging your shooting range. A good drill for this is actually, again, another drill from Taylor Allen that I learned, um, progressive range shooting. You can do this pretty much any way you want, but the key is you start from maybe five feet, make a certain number of shots, step back about three feet, three to five feet, make a certain number of shots, and keep stepping back. You can stop when you say, hey, you need to make three shots at each spot, you need to make five at each spot. Or you say, if I miss three in a row or two in a row, then I'm going to stop. But just some form where you're progressively stepping back, stepping back. And it's a good drill to incorporate in every single workout, actually, to actually challenge your shooting range and make sure you're being consistent with it. And then if you stick with it, again, over time, you will see great improvements in the shooting range that you're able to shoot from. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in today to the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast. Please like the page Hoops Hall of Fame on Facebook. Please subscribe on YouTube, and I'll talk to all of you again tomorrow on the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast.